So we're working on this window. It was not square. The window was, the window glass was square, but the frame was not square anymore. And we could tell because on this side, there was a half an inch gap. And the other way we could tell is because when we put the top window up all the way, we still, they didn't meet. They were about a half inch off and you can see someone at one point tried to fix it by putting a shim in. And then after a while, the shim didn't even work because it was, they would have needed three or four of them to connect. Plus in the winter, there was lots of air coming in down here. And this is probably why the glass is broke too, because probably trying to force it down forcing it crooked or banging it, crack the glass. So I ripped the front of this off. I thought maybe I, it would be hollow underneath and I could jack it up from there, but that didn't really pan out. So I have to put this back together. I have to caulk it and nail that port piece back in. But what I did do, and did work, is underneath, the porch if you look at where we are here and you go underneath I put one of my jacks here one of the screw ratchet jacks old timer but awesome jack and I put a 4x4 four four up underneath along with a 2x6 and started jacking and kept an eye on it. At first it didn't seem to have any effect, but then I did hear some creaking and cracking and kept checking the window and it was gradually getting better and better. So now what I'm gonna do is underneath here, up in here, you can see where the floorboards are. Well, I left just enough room that I can get a 1x4 up in there. And there's a gap. If you put your hand up in there, you can feel a gap between this board and the flooring. So what I'm going to do is screw a 1x4 up in there as tight as I can. And then I'm going to release the jack and then nail the heck out of it and then put another one on top and nail that really good also. So probably this all was an effect of when this corner was destroyed by water and then this whole, I had to redo all this and this window, I think probably it settled and it just never got back up to where it was supposed to be. Not a lot, you know about a quarter of an inch but a quarter of an inch exaggerates because you got a quarter of an inch on each side which gives you a half inch then if your windows off or to make your window off that much where it's not closing so I'm kind of taking my time now because the longer the jack is in place the longer the house gets used to its new position and it may not settle as much and probably what I'm going to do is go up another half a turn and then screw that in and then bring it down and nail the crap out of it. And hopefully the window's gonna stay.